Hey guys, just uh, cleaning off my pack. We uh, went on a little uh, little expedition yesterday. Um, we set out to do a little trout fishing, which we did. A little fishing, which we did. Uh, a little backpacking, a little hiking. Um, turned out to be a really nice day. So uh, I thought I would show you guys how I uh, load up my uh, my Everly stock Warhammer here. Um, this has been a really good pack, guys. I've had it for a couple years. Um, normally I use the Little Brother pack, uh, but this year I plan on using this pack extensively. So uh, I can get a much better feel for it and how to load it out. Now this is a great system. The uh, Everly Stock Warhammer, uh, along with the Little Brother and some uh, duffels and their uh, dry sack and their uh, LP1 fanny pack, um, all make a wonderful bug out system. Um, but, you know, when I bought this, I wanted a pack that would uh, take care of all my needs. So, not just for backpacking or bugging out or inch bag or whatever. I just wanted something that was uh, very durable and would uh, stand up to uh, all the different abuses that uh, packs take. So, um, I'm just going to run through this quick and show you how I have it loaded out. So, uh... got my little camp chair gotta have that oh yeah that's my fishing kit um, this is what I run for trout uh, it's a little uh, ice fishing jig pole with a micro reel on it um, which works well in this area but then I always carry my Glock uh, we'll go through that at another time but here's my camp chair up top Here, we got my Jay Martini, got my little uh, UCO slash flashlight slash lantern, if I can get it open. There we go. Those are nice little units. Got that on sale at Walmart for like five bucks. Uh, the Baco, my new headlamp. This is an Ozark Trail, and I really like it because it's lightweight. It's only like 20, 20 lumens, but uh, you really don't need much more than that. That's that. We got some uh, granola bars. We got my Baco uh, uh, jaw spreader for my water bottle and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Let's disconnect this. We'll open this up. All right. Hold it over. Alright, there's my sleep pad. Here's my sleeping bag. This is just an Ozark Trail 50 degree bag. It's a good bag and it's rectangular. I can't stand the mummy bags, guys. I like to move my feet. I've got lots of little warm weather mummy bags and they'll probably be getting sold here eventually. So we'll stay tuned for that. And this is all discombobulated. Um, then I hang my uh, source bladder in here. This is, uh, I believe, 3 liter. I don't know, I forget. Oh, I'm sorry, 2 liter, 70 ounce. Uh, let's see here. In the side pocket over here. I've got my trusty old hatchet. You guys have all seen that. I got here. I got my multi tool I got from Frog Tech. Let's see here. I got my Sawyer water filter. That's it for that pouch. In here, I got some food. Back pantry, backpacker's pantry, and some mountain house. I don't really like this stuff, guys, but. It's all GMO and it always leaves me with a little bit of gut rot, but it does work. Alright, that pretty much takes care of the inside. I'm going to fold these silo tubes up. And we'll go from there. So we're loosen up the compression strap. 
got my uh, ARS CT32 Pro saw. This has been a really nice saw, guys. Really nice saw. I like the sheath or the scabbard, I should say. You can tell it's gotten lots of use. Uh, pretty aggressive teeth. Very, very um, works really well in uh, hardwood, softwood, damp wood. Uh, the reason I got it was for uh, cutting fat wood because I found that the smaller teeth, like on the Bacos, um, do not remove the sawdust fast enough, uh, quick enough here. I'll show you the difference as soon as I get that open. But you can see on the Baco how it has uh, smaller teeth. Well, on the uh, larger teeth, you have larger gullets up in here. So, and you also have a wider curve. So your uh, the set of your teeth. Let me see if I can show you this. But you can see how a tooth goes this way, and the next tooth goes out that way. That creates a wider curve. So, if you're cutting a lot of fat wood, guys, a saw like this is a uh, pretty uh, pretty valuable. Um, now I've got another saw too that I use for wet woods and green woods and pitchy woods and let me get it out here well it is the uh, Corona 21 inch pruning saw the uh, RS 7160 uh, this has proved to be a really nice saw as well let me try and get this out of the sheath one-handed there we go now this is a pretty aggressive saw guys and you see the large gullets here uh, this removes a lot of sawdust real quick so your saw doesn't get uh, pinched and jammed up and stuff so anyway I'll show you more on that later now let's see here what do we got I really like this uh, Warhammer guys this is a uh, I really like how uh, I can load it out I can pretty much fit everything I need in these two uh, two silo tubes find my zipper. Of course I'm doing this one-handed. Alright, so this side I've got another mag for my Glock. I've got my alcohol for my Blue Hills. Uh, let's see here. I've got my, my little grill. I've got the uh, Coleman Max. Uh, I've got my, whoops, Eno uh, straps, and my little shovel, and let's see here, I've got my Eno hammock, I've got the uh, Guardian bug net from Eno, and I've got my little uh, camp pillow right here, got to have that, that cost me a buck at a garage sale. So now let's get into this side here. I've got my other mag for my Glock right here. Let's see here. Got my fire kit. Cards, uh, a little cribbage board, notepad, pencil, and my sharpening kit. I've got my personal hygiene kit right there. got tent stakes, well tarp stakes slash hammock. I've got my poly tarp in here. Yeah, let's see here. There's more stuff in there. First aid kit right there. What I got down here. You know, and I got a bunch of cordage that I brought with. I was going to do some stuff, but uh, anyway, guys, you can see that uh, this pack literally holds a whole pile of stuff. <laughs> um, all total, this pack weight was approximately 50 pounds. Not 100% on that, but very, very close to that. So um, this pack carries the load very, very well. Um, you've got vertical adjustment here for your harness. 
the uh, the waist belt is uh, or the hip belt is also removable, which there's really no need for that. Um, it is based on the Alice frame, as you can see down there. So that frame is tried and true. Um, what I really like about this pack is there's there's air movement behind here, so your back doesn't get just crazy sweaty. Um, I always hated that about certain packs. But uh, anyway, guys, this was my loadout. Um, it was a good trip. We had a lot of fun. Um, I don't typically video my dirt time because uh, it's a way for me to unplug. And the few times that I have, uh, I didn't get very many views anyway. So that's just how it goes. But uh, anyway, guys, there it is. If you get a chance, check out the Everly Stock Warhammer uh, pack system uh, through everlystock.com. Yeah, they got a lot of different packs, a lot of different options. So they are expensive, guys, I'm telling you that. But you do get what you pay for, So especially when it comes to packs. So, all right, guys, take care. We'll talk to you later. And uh, probably be some uh, more videos yet today. All right, bye-bye.